Hello everybody, Shadow here, and welcome to Herald Halibut. Um, I don't really know a lot about this game. I just saw ads for it back when it came out, and I thought it looked interesting, so I'm gonna play it. So here we go. I don't know if I, my camera's in a good spot, so we may have to move it, but uh, we'll deal with that when we get there. All right, here we go. Ooh. Under the sea. With all the fishies. We gonna get a sea monster showing up? Maybe. Where are we going, little fishy? Oh, big old octopus or squid or something. All right, all right. Ooh. Fascinating. Ooh, the glow is kinda Ominous and dreary. Is this our home? Good morning. any of these people are yet, but I'm sure we'll meet them. Filming a commercial? Okay, okay. Oh. Uh. We appear to be wanted. That's not great. Pretty sure that's us, th right? Yeah, yeah, hey, hello. It's us. Harold, I'm afraid I need you to come with me. Oh, hi, Major. What's the matter? Is that leak bothering you again? It's your fine, your unpaid fine. Oh dear. I had a fine. You still do. Tubing without the proper credit on your tube card. Oh. Can you settle it now? Uh. No, but wait, I'm sure I topped it up. Improper tube card management, Halibut. You sure sorry, cool. sorry. Uh, since last week, the energy district tubes require your tube card to be topped up with blue credit. If an online blue to credit the district is intended in addition to the usual weekly turquoise credit. Wait, but only last month it was a green. I don't make the rules, Harold, but the rules make me. Now Great. Let's get you over to the fire secretary <laughs> so we can all get on with our. Oh game. boy. Uh, sure. Okay. I'll come along. I love bureaucracy. Fell foul of the end user insufficient funds clause. I'm afraid if you really can't pay, you're going to have to think of someone who can. I guess that means you'll have to wait for the professor again. Who knows what she sees in you? Right, I'm needed elsewhere. There's a disturbing rise in the number of people traveling without the appropriate tickets recently. Oh dear. I hope for both That could be sakes, a problem. I'll see you again soon, Harold. All right. Well, bye. -bye. Well, hello. It's us. Can I do anything? Hello. <laughs> Howdy. <laughs> oh boy. Hi. Just put this on my account. I'll pay as soon as I. Mr. Halibut, you don't have an account. Oh. Not since we blocked it. Please, Mr. Fair. Secretary. Let me just. I mean, look. 
Can't we? <laughs> Your name is Mr. Secretary? <laughs> uh, my, my title, young man, is All Water Secretary Number 24. It is not my name. Anyway, I'm afraid All Water Corporation can't be seen to make exceptions. You'll have to go through the proxy okay. process like everyone else. Great. What are you doing here? So, what are you in for? Oh, I'm just here for the great company. Aren't you a little young to start working for All Water? What? No, I meant because <laughs> it was a joke, doofus. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, uh, we're not bright. Could you let me wait in peace now? Oh, sure. We'll do. Have fun. Felix. Hi, Ma. Uh, look, before you say anything, whatever your excuse is, it'll have to wait. Busy, busy times. Mr. Secretary, please charge whatever Felix's fine is to the company tab, please. Of course, Mrs. Van Der Vaart. Have a pleasant day. You too, Master Van Der Vaart. Freedom! Have fun, Harold! Well, bye bye We'll, we'll try. <laughs> we reluctantly interrupt your daily business oh. for an important... <laughs> For some important information for all inhabitants of the Fedora One. Okay, got it. Dear people, crew, and company, we seem to have discovered something super cool. Super cool? Please do consider to congregate tonight at the Agora Theatre to... for some important information. Okay. Could have just told us, oh, Harold, but... here you are. I've been looking all over. Get your buns to the lab, if you please. I do beg your pardon, ma'am, but there is still the matter of an outstanding fine for Mr. Halibut to find a proxy for. A completely reasonably priced and fairly applied fine, if I do say so myself. Sir, I don't like you. Do not cause me further consternation. Just put it on my tab as always. Come on, Harold. If she always has to come down here, why don't... You should just know, right? Can I shenanigans? Now? Okay, I can Mr. kind of... Halibut, you'll need this before you go. A ticket home? Yes, and only home. It's not valid for any other routes. Oh, okay. okay. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Secretary. Great. And your tube pass should be unlocked again within 24 hours. So you'll be back to the luxury of fully automatic tube travel eligibility approval once again. Great. I can't wait. Wonderful. Okay. Goodbye. <laughs> Every time I need you, Harold, it's something else. What's wrong with you? I can't handle your shenanigans while we're in the middle of this mess. I know. What mess? Know. I'm sorry. Next time. This must have an underlying cause. Hmm. I remember when you were still in school and your teacher telling me about how you would just stare out of the window, oblivious to her even shouting at you. It's like you'd never snapped out of that daydream. That was really a cardboard cutout that could wave at me, huh? I was never in a daydream, just the other stuff was boring. Harold, I'm not sure which is worse. The idea of you living with your head in the clouds or never being excited by life. Only boring people get bored. <sighs> Ouch. I'm sorry, Professor. Rude. Okay. Fascinating. Oh, okay. I guess my... Oh, nope. That's the wrong button. Okay, fair enough. Central Station. We hope you enjoy your all-water tube system journey. Whee! You have arrived. Please exit the tube in an orderly manner. We hope you travel with us again soon. But why isn't the line active? What needs improving? A man has a right to know. I don't know the exact decision-making process. So what's all this then? But I assure you it will be for the good of your overall long-term tube traveling experience. Right. So will we get discounts on the other lines as a result of the inconvenience? Ah. Oh. As of yet, there is no discount scheme in place. 
As you suck. calculated the possible inconvenience to be negligible. Wouldn't need a discount if the prices weren't so high in the first place. I can't comment on the pricing strategy, I'm afraid, sir. <laughs> oh, I'm boy. I'm just a travel secretary. So right. what can you comment on? I am authorized to comment on the nature of the tube closure, which is that all water have had to close the line temporarily for improvement works. Yes, you said that. Have these improvements been carried out before? I cannot say if the exact same optimizations have been made to another line. So what can you comment on? I can confirm that there is no discount scheme in the Okay, they're, 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 they're looping, sort of. So who calculates the fair, fair price? Okay, well, let's, let's move on. Okay, where where are we going? <laughs> are we going to the lab district? Destination decided. Enjoy the view. I don't know if I was supposed to have paid attention to where she went. Okay, good. But Harold, I'm tired of chasing after you like you're a stupid butterfly. So, so. What's a butterfly? That sounds silly. <laughs> a butterfly is an insect from Earth. They had beautiful patterns on their wings and drank pollen from flowers. I suppose you could say they often appeared in a uh, extra natural moments in life. I on see. On the other hand, they were terribly inefficient, flighty, overly trusting, and delicate. Ergo, you never take responsibility, and I never know where to find you next. Okay, okay. I like the little explanation of like she's old enough to remember what. The surface is like, but we're not. I know I drift off a bit sometimes, but, but all water raised the tube fares again, and they never announce it properly. This time it really was an honest mistake. Plus, there was this woman who... Quiet, Harold. We don't have time for your flights of fancy right now. There's important work afoot. Oh, yeah. Right. So what are we doing? The filter station yet? And did you need to feed the fish, too? Ah, uh, yes. Those two. I'm on the case. Bye, Professor. Aren't you forgetting something? Oh, uh, I'm sure those are all my tasks. Thank you. Today. You seem to have waylaid your PDA. Ah. Is a way you get anything done around here. Ah, thanks, Professor. Sorry, sorry. It's got a life of its own. Strangely enough, I noticed you hadn't added your daily task list to it, and I don't want to have to remind you about them again. Oh, thanks. Let's see. Uh, so, I access the list. It'll come back to me. Just go to the four selection buttons. Okay. Um, where were they again? <laughs> the right of the pad. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, boy. Top of the four buttons, right? Hello! Cool. Then I use the navigation nub to highlight and then hit the bottom button. Precisely. Okay. Okay, good. okay. And it's the rightmost button to go back, right? Indeed. Now hop to it. And I'll see you at the Agora Arcades when you're done. Agora Arcades. Got it. All right. Well, can we look around a little bit? So we need to feed the fish. Drat, it's out of food. Great. Better ask Cyrus about this. Who the frick is Cyrus? A suit? Fancy. Can I not do anything in here? All right. Sure, sure. So, feed the fish. Clean the filter station. Okay. So we gotta find Cyrus. We gotta clean the filter station. Where is the filter station? Uh... 
Anything else around here? Wait, hold on. No. Hold, hold on. No. Actually, there's a stairway. I bet that's where the... I bet the filter's down here. Oh, no, this is my room. Okay. Understood. Hold on. What's this? No, I don't want to interact with that. Great. <laughs> Threat. Better us. Okay, yep, we're going. Okay. I guess let's... What's that button? Oh. What the frick is this? Okay. Um, I'm just going to leave that. <laughs> Oh, hello. Ah, uh, Harold. Perfect timing. What's up? Oh, Senor Tenenbaum. You too. I was just hoping to watch some Sun Tzu's Ash. Got any idea how to work the old telly? Yeah, I think it's one of those all-water ad-only models. Ugh. Ah. Should still be good for watching the announcement on tonight, though, right? You really gonna watch that? They'll just announce another tube price hike again. Well, who knows? You should still he probably watch in that case, though. Said he heard something about the reveal of something important. Important? Pop into our aircon chilled store and let us transport you to another world. What is Sun Tzu's Ash? Yes. Sun Tzu's Ash. Eternal Love. Eternal Love? Best and only Turkish novella we have on board. Ah. I thought season 18 was bad. Well, with all the drama around Emery's cousin and whatnot. Sure. So powering through to season 36, though, that's where the plot really thickens. I'll How many episodes are these? What brings you to, the lounge, you anyway? to the lounge anyway? Would you guess that the tubes to the utility district and the social district are down again? Strangely, yes. I can believe that. Does that mean school is out? Yep. The bambinos are happy, and I don't mind the time off. But if it goes okay. on much longer, they'll forget everything. True. Won't they do their homework? Maybe. <laughs> the whole social district is off well, right now. Well, kids. So at least there won't be much else for them to do. Is that why you're hanging out here? Mostly. It's just kind of cozy here, though, you know? I True. It is. True. Okay. Anyway, don't mind me, Harold. Sure. Bye, Chris. See you later, Harold. I'll be here if you want some company. Yeah, all right. Well, let's keep looking around in the bathroom. Is there anything to do in the bathroom? Well, we can break the doors, so. <laughs> Come on, do something freaky. I am surprised that this is something that can happen. You would think that they would notice something like that and, you know, prevent it from happening. Okay, filtration pump is over that way. Hello? Are you Cyrus? Hey, Cy. Oh, hey, Harold. Uh, what's going? I, I mean, uh, how's up? Just doing my usual rounds. Trying to clean the fish and feed the filter station. Super nice. Uh, How I think you got those doing? backwards. They're swimming away, looking good. But there's no food left in the fish feeding machine. Ah, lovely. Yeah, I've been thinking about fish a lot recently. Great. I've been wondering if, you know, even fish blood is such a good fertilizer. What, the slow release phosphates and nitrogen? R if we don't yeah. Hurt fish, yeah. If samples were taken, we could somehow synthesize the. Sigh, sigh. That sounds very interesting. But what about the food for the fish themselves? Hmm? Oh, yes. 
Sorry, rat. Then I restock the other night? <sighs> Must have just thought about it. I'll have to formulate some more. You make the fish food yourself? Oh, oh I do fancy. Indeed. I'm working on a new recipe at the moment, in fact. Ooh, <laughs> nice. Can fish even taste? It's not just about taste, it's about nutrition. Ah. We know their to function optimally, don't we? And their pigments do express as vividly as possible, a bit like flowers. Sigh, sigh. New fish food would be great. I'm sure they'll Okay, so what do we got to do as part of this? Yeah, I think I have a test batch. Uh, yep, yep. A uh, little taster to keep them going. Uh, you should try some too. Uh, thanks. Uh, no thanks. I'll let you know what they think. Oh. <laughs> We're free out here. Did you see that? <laughs> Was that fish real? Oh, I'm not sure. I mean, even if it wasn't, their methods are getting way more sophisticated lately. Yeah. Fascinating. I kind of look forward to seeing what stunt they're going to pull next. Me too. As long as I don't have to clean it up. Do you remember their first messages? Ha, uh, yeah. Wasn't it something about Fedora not being able to take off being a conspiracy? Yes. On all those little flyers. Handwritten, too. Ah. What did that fish message mean, do you think? Hmm. I guess something about exploring the planet. Did right. Did it say what's out here? Ooh, like they've hidden something. Maybe they think the ocean is a conspiracy, too? It's possible. Okay. So we got the food. That's good. Well, let's go take a look at the filter while we're down here. Okay, that door's closed. Hello! Hi! How's it going, little tentacle dude? Alright, bye! <laughs> da 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 That's definitely not a clean filter. Okay. Do I just have to press A? What is... Okay. Ah. Okay. Fascinating. Clean as a whistle again. Ah. That was it, huh? And I... Oh. No. I wanted to do this. Okay, so we just have to feed the fish. Alright, let's go. Run in, run in, run in, run in. Yeah. Da, 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 da. Nope. Wrong door. All right. Okay, you know, we can probably put this away. That'd probably be good. All right, let's give these guys a little taste test. Here you go, fishies! Little fishy, your little dishy is now served. Yeah, right. Okay, Herald bot diagnostic report. <laughs> scanning, <laughs> scanning, all tasks completed satisfactorily. Enjoyment evaluation, minimal. Energy levels depleted. Recharging required. Next destination. Agora Arcades. Yeah, alrighty. To the arcades! Away we go! Wait, I thought our ticket could only get us back here. Ah, why isn't this working? So typical. I suppose the ticket reactivation is still going to take a while. Okay. 
so... Okay, so I guess we're watching the announcement. In the lounge. Hello again! Hey, Chris. Ticket not working. Mind if I watch the announcement with you? Oh, be my guest! Not that I actually live here. <laughs> Fair. Alright, what do we got? We chose the stars. Not instead of the Earth, but because of it. We chose sacrifice and responsibility. Uh, well, we didn't, I guess. But our ancestors did. And we wouldn't be here if they hadn't. Uh, left, I mean. We'd be back on Earth. And where would that have got anyone? We may not have ever seen our home, tasted its air, or gazed across its boiling seas, but we... Boiling were... seas? Oh. And then we made a new home, even if it wasn't quite what anyone had in mind. And one corporation, over all others, helped make that possible. All water. Right. On that note, I'd like to introduce Madam CEO Brenna Castlechop. So what exactly is this Good announcement? As you may know, I am Brenna Castlechop, the CEO of All Water Corporation. Y yes, he just said More that. More importantly, I'm a citizen of the Fedora just like you. And it's my unmitigated pleasure today to show you what you're about to see. Join me in reliving and celebrating the remarkable journey we've been on together before we unveil the next step of that journey. Okay. It may have started with one man, but it took the hearts and minds of many more to make the dream a reality. That dream began at the height of the Cold War, I see. when the world was on the very brink of annihilation. He conceived of an arc-like spacefaring ship, financed by the wealthiest countries, families, and private institutions such as the Schlipmeyer Foundation Schlipmeyer. as a gesture of global care for the human race. That ship journeyed for 200 years, was home to five generations, and sailed okay. past many solar systems, making fascinating discoveries along the way, like the bacteria that are now responsible for our energy supply, ah. or the mineral samples we took from planets along the way that allow us to build new materials. Okay. We had difficulties to deal with too, such as surprise asteroid fields. Periods of hopelessness and the unpleasant, albeit brief, alien infestation. Ah, that would have been a problem. Yeah. One hundred and twenty years after launch, our last message from our beloved Earth in its final moments. After two hundred years, we finally arrived at our destination. Yeah, well, the thing that I only to find that the promising water fascinating that we don't hear the message mass and dense toxic gases in the atmosphere. Hardly the second Earth we had hoped for. It wasn't long into our new search that the solar winds came. Ah! Maybe our ancestors couldn't have possibly known, or maybe they could. But they would cause our ship to crash, just like Icarus, but with worse luck. Either way, we can be thankful for a soft landing and good waterproofing. Right. Wasn't that a wild ride, huh? We've achieved so much aboard the Fedora, but we've never stopped thinking big. Right. We had the idea to make sure we weren't missing out on anything going on outside. We're in a whole new galaxy, so we should be listening to see what the local news is. So we hatched a new plan. A state-of-the-art, deep space radio boy capable of keeping itself afloat and slowly circumnavigating our watery new home while scanning for signals and interesting cosmic gossip. Fair, and fair. Wait for it. Yes, we're delighted to announce it's floating to the surface right now. Ah. Right. The boy will be in position in another few hours. Big congratulations and thanks to All Water for making this possible. I'm excited to see what we pick up. Fascinating. That was some announcement, huh? For sure. Makes for some nice gossip. True, but true. I think they should fix the tube system or upgrade the TVs, eh? Before this fancy boy drama. Eh? Yeah, true, that is true. Nice. Yeah. What if they're really Probably should the make life better, huh? Mundo. We should be focusing on inner space before outer, huh? Yeah. Yeah, man. 
Speaking of inner space, I hope the tickets are working again tomorrow. Que claro. At least I brought some homework to Mark. True. The Gambinos will forget everything at this rate. And you've got your trusty couch. Yep. We've gotten to know each other well. Okay. I'm gonna get some sleep. Buona notte, Chris. Buona notte, Harold. Bye bye. All right, time to go to bed. Good evening, Fedorans. What? The all water tube system will shortly be closing for the night. Please attend to the necessary travel arrangements. I see. Get home safe. Well, we are home, so that's not a problem for us. Well, you know, actually, this is probably a pretty good place to end the first episode. So, um, yeah, we've kind of gotten a little taste of the world and stuff. I, I will note, I, I did um, have a slight misinterpretation of the butterfly line. She's just sciency, so she is aware of what butterflies are, but he is not. Okay. I didn't realize it was 150 years, or I, I actually, actually I think it said 350, because it was 150 when they received their last message, and I, I think it said it was 200 years after that. So it's it's been a while, um, but yeah. Anyway, um, that is gonna be it for now. We will see where this goes next time. So I look forward to that. But for now, that's it. So thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please let me know down in the comments below and maybe leave a like. And if you want to catch the next episode as it comes out, go ahead and hit subscribe. But for now, that's it. So see ya.